This is a little code question number 393, ETFL validation. This is medium question. Let's get into it. A character in ETF 8 can be from 1 to 4 byte long, subject to the following rule. First, for one byte of character, the first bit is 0, followed by its unicode. Uh, number 2, for m byte character, the first m bit are all ones and m plus 1 bit is 0, uh, followed by m minus 1 byte with the most significant 2 bits being 10. Okay, uh, this is how the UTF-8 encoding would work. Okay, let's check with the example. Okay, this is 1 bit and 1 bit means is the first, uh, first bit is the 0. So, there are 1 bit 0 and then next is if it's 2 bit that means is same as uh, number of 1 so this is number 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 of 1 is 2 so 1 2 this one is the number of words is 3 and 1 2 3 F number 4 1 2 3 4 Given an array to integer referring to data, return whether it is a valid UTF-8 encoding. Okay, so we need to check the format is valid. If the, this one is valid, the UTF-8 will return true, otherwise false. So in this time, we need to check the uh, three things. First is the first characters, the first bit. So if it's zero, is one. And then if this is a 2, and then we also check second is the 10. Uh, okay, okay. Let's say if the, there are one more 10 is here, what is return value? That's right, this is first. Because 1, 1 means there are only 1. Only 10, 1 required. If there is another 10, 1, we needed to check the first. And then, okay, let's say if the this one is missing, which value we need to, to return? That's right. But we also return first. Because for me is uh, the writer, there comes up with the three more character. And then that one must be start with 10, one zero. Did this make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Let's check with example one. So given data is 197, 131. So first we need to change it to binary. So binary first is the 2, 1. So 1, 1. We need to check this one. And then second one must be start 110. There are only 1, 1 required. So this is valid. Okay, next check. There are no 1 here. That means this one is 1 byte. So this one true and this one is true. So return must be true. Uh, that, okay, uh, let's check example two. Example two is the 235, 144. Which reference one was set? Okay, this will change to binary is this one. There are three A. So next there are, uh, we need two more byte start with only one. So this one, one is okay, but oh, this one is not one. So return first. If this one is one, start one, one, and then next is zero, we need to return true. Okay, how are we gonna do? All right, uh, today I gonna use the, uh, the bit operation, and especially I will use a uh, bit mask, so first, and then I will use it to checking the number of uh, n. And then next is the, I will do, uh, I will keep the rule. I will check the rule step by step. And then every the rule is the valid for UTF-8. I will return true. Otherwise, I will return first. Okay. Let's implement the code. First, I will make the function name is count once. And I will list nums, num, and then I needed the counter, that is zero, and then for 
I in range. Uh, this is the okay. This is ETF eight means that it is need the eight bit. So uh, I will iteration only the zero to seven. And first bit means uh, okay. First I need to check one. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 1, there are first 1, and then there are 7, 0. So, that means this one with shift 7, same as this one, shift 7. That's right. So, first I will start to shift 7, and then to 0, and then decrease 1 by 1. And I will check if num, and and the bit mask bit okay let's generate bit mask one i i7 this is one minus this if that means uh, this is bit mask and then there are some value is four five six seven it will compare this one with this so one minus this one must be one so the, in this case i will increase count one otherwise I will break because somewhere over there is the zero so I needed to break and then before that is the count is the same as number one does this make sense okay and then we need another counter this one needed a different with this one so now First, uh, I wanna check the, the number of this one, and then put into the counter, and then if the check the next one, I will reduce counter, and if counter is zero, I will also check the how many uh, number of ones the start with, and then I will iteration again and again to check it. So. Next, I will iterate. I will iterate. I will get uh, data. I will get item from data. So 40 in data. And first, if counter, counter is zero, that means this is the first. If that is the, uh, the first. This is counter is zero. I will get the, this one right. So in this time, I put counter is count once and put D. And then now in this case, we return two, two right? And then next, okay, let's uh, let's make some let's pick some edge case. Okay, let's say if a count is zero, that means this is just one byte, right? So. If count is zero, I just continue to check next. Next also, we also needed to check the counter. That means if this one is zero, and then this one will be valid, so we will check next one. And then we will check the number of one, right? And then as if counter is one, in this case, if the 10 one is the first, in this time, we needed to which one? True or first? Yeah, that's right, first. Because uh, one, only one, number one is only one, it cannot, the, uh, the, uh, cannot position in the front. There are no one zero, right? Zero and one one. One zero always uh, place the from the second, not the first. That is make sense. So one and then another thing, if there are five one, that is valid? No. Because we just check one, two, four by two long. So the five means the the format is not valid. So this one or or count is more than four, I return first. And then next is, uh, if that is the two, how many check? Check the one, two. Start with it itself. So next mean is 
we needed to decrease the counter. So 1, 1, 2 means only one we needed to check the only one. So it is time we needed to reduce one. As as means now we are here, so we needed to check this. Before check, I will decrease counter for next iteration. And if count once is uh, t is not one because next must be a uh, number of one is must be one. In this case, it is not valid. And then finally, we checked count is zero. That means, uh, as I mentioned before, if this one is two, three minutes, uh, next byte we need the two more byte. If this is only one or this is three, that does not make sense. That must be return first. That is the reason we, why we needed to change the left counter. Okay, looks good. Awesome. Okay, let's check time complexity. Um, in this case, it takes linear, and how about this? Yeah, that's right. There are one iteration, but luckily this one is the constant. Only the it iterate eight times. Eight times means we can say this one is take constant time, and then this one take uh, linear time. So, and then is there any the extra space? No, there are no extra space. So, uh, I can say uh, it take a linear time with uh, constant space. Thank you.